Hey everybody, it's Ben here, and behind me is a Dynasty It, which is a neighborhood electric vehicle class, uh, kind of a micro pickup. Uh, it has low speed vehicle plates on it, so this isn't the type of vehicle that you hop in and you go out on the freeway. Any of these are uh, by law restricted to 25 miles per hour and typically can go on up to 35 mile per hour roads, but it's kind of a cool little uh, electric vehicle, so uh, let's just take a look at it. Uh, so for just a little walk around, this is kind of a, it's a pickup truck style utility vehicle. So it has a bed in the back. And one thing I thought was kind of neat is it actually has a third door. So let's say you got a big dog or something like that. You just open up the door, dog can hop in and out. Or uh, let's say you got a lot of cargo, you don't need to lift it over the side. You can actually walk it right in. It's pretty spacious and believe it or not, it's rated for a thousand pounds of cargo, which I thought was pretty cool. Then on the back, it's got a little mini tailgate, which is a little different. It doesn't fold down quite the way a pickup truck tailgate does. So it's not um, straight and flat and level and good for sitting on, but does let you uh, access the back uh, like you would a trunk for putting in groceries or whatever your cargo is. Uh, the, the body is fiberglass and the front and back bumper covers are plastic has backup lights. The entire underside is all aluminum, which I thought was pretty cool. It's entirely aluminum under there. Um, really the only steel on this thing is uh, brakes, steering, some of those components, but it's all aluminum, real solid. The tires are, um, what are these? They're 15580 R13s, which actually is a Geo Metro tire. So you can get these tires it's not like you got to go someplace special to get them or anything like that. On the back of the cab, it is a sliding window, so you get a little air through there. Under the hood, it's uh, pretty straightforward. Not a whole lot in here. One thing I kind of like is they actually give you the uh, battery diagram right here. So if you ever need to check the batteries or anything, it's the, the, the layout of the batteries. Uh, so it's six batteries. There's five across the bottom here and a sixth one on top. Uh, a little windshield washer tank. This uh, box here is actually, a, there's a heating element in the box. This is a blower fan. And then this goes up to the windshield. So that's the uh, electric defroster that's in there. So you can defog, defrost your windshield as needed. Uh, over here, it, uh, 12 volt accessory battery, and that's going to a DC to DC converter back there. So that's 72 volt to 12 volt DC to DC, uh, which is really kind of the right way to run the 12 volt system on a, uh, uh, a small utility vehicle like this, is having both accessory battery and a DC to DC converter running to it. Um, and then back here, uh, that's a little desulfator that's not hooked up, but right back here, that's a Curtis uh 1238 ec motor controller um it's got a 400 amp main fuse on it and that motor controller is kind of neat because that controls the main contactor and it also has some can bus connections on it so uh, it's a pretty smart controller you can actually rig it up to run an entire vehicle uh only other things up here just your uh your regular horn uh single blade windshield wiper arm windshield wiper motor horn uh, pretty basic manual brakes. Uh, battery chargers back there. It's a Zyvan NG1 that's a 1,000 watt 72 volt charger. And I think that covers it for under the hood. Uh, one thing I thought was interesting, this little hood release, you don't have to um, pull a cable inside or anything. You just reach in and disconnect right here. Let's take a look uh, inside the car. So the car has real doors on it, and they're the style where they, they don't have the frame coming up, kind of like what you'd have on a convertible. It's got a real door latch, it's got a real manual window crank. The windows uh, look pretty nice, the door closes pretty solid. It's got a real lock on it, a real key on the door handle. The steering wheel is relatively small. It is manual steering. It's an electronic throttle foot pedal, uh, manual brakes. You've got a little battery meter right here. Uh, display your state of charge. Uh, let's see, why don't, we, uh, why don't we flip it on? So we've just got a regular 
key. Stick that in, turn that on, we'll hear the main contactor click. It just heard the main contactor click. Speedometer animates, and we've got a full battery pack. Um, that's about it. You want to go backwards? Reverse has a backup alarm. Forward just has a green light indicating that you're going. There's a manual handbrake on the floor, so if you just let that off, press the accelerator, off you go. Except we can't because the hood's up. Um, there is no glove box. It's just very simple. It's a flat floor. Uh, the dashboard is actually kind of neat, I thought. It's uh, very lightweight and removable. So this entire thing lifts out. And if you need to do work on it, it's really easy to get at the switches and the wiring and things that's down there. Also, let's say you wanted like eight cup holders, you could replace this with some plywood and put whatever the heck you want in there. But it's nice and simple, lightweight. Uh, the seats also remind me of something out of like a helicopter, maybe. Uh, the seats are just kind of a basic frame. And then suspension, it's just mesh on the back, which I thought was, was nice because I get a sweaty back sitting in a car. And this uh, lets the air through, lets you breathe a little bit. Got a sliding back window. So you get some nice uh, ventilation through there with a window screen on it. Uh, just a little two-seater. You do have um, three-point seat belts on both sides. Um, what else? There is no radio, although there's a spot to put a radio. And certainly it'd be easy to put in a radio or some speakers or even just some uh, powered speakers for an iPod or something like that. There is a blower, so up there, fair amount of air coming out and... Uh, so right now it's just blowing, but there's also a heat control. So you could um, use this for defrosting and defogging the windshield in the winter. And a working 12 volt outlet so you can charge your cell phone or whatever else you need to do. Uh, but that's about it for the interior. Oh, you got a dome light. One little dome light up here. And you know, some little visors, rear view mirror. Rear view mirror is actually decent. It's got day, night, um, and of course, exterior mirror on both sides. Latch, door handle, window crank, door lock. Uh, pretty simple, but you know, fairly solid, fairly, you know, real. The charging port is on the front driver's side. Just a little cover flips up. And you plug your extension cord in there, and that's about all there is to it. So kind of a neat little vehicle, but uh, let's go out for a ride.